Today I wanted to show you how to turn some basic business cards into ones that are more colorful and artistic with just basic watercolors. Now you guys can use these pearlescent ones which would be super shiny or just really basic ones. Uh, these are both from Michaels for about five bucks. All I did for these top ones is open up this lovely palette. Now I'll move these out of the way, throw that down. And this will help to soak up any excess watercolor. I'll just grab your favorite brush and a color of your choosing. Swirl that around, make sure you get it all nice and good. Add more water if you need to. What you do is set that down and give it like a good coating back and forth. Now I did a gradient on this one and all I did was kind of go back and forth and add more water to my brush. Now you could do any designs you wanted. Say if you designed fabric, you could probably do ones that were specific to your type of designs. But because I do so many different crafts, I was kind of thinking, you know, what could I do that would make these business cards, which I just ordered a few months ago, into something that was a little bit more uh, colorful. So I could do, you know, stitching, but I figured something like that might get snagged in someone's wallet. Um, so that's why I come up with watercolor. You could definitely do stamping or you could dye them. These particular cards have my information on the front, just really basic. So my website name, which is also what a lot of people call me. Um, my name and my website, my email. And so that's all right on the front, right? So the back you can see where it has the feathering around it from the watercolor. And this is all my social media information. So obviously you're familiar with the YouTube because that's where you're seeing this. And these other things are really helpful if someone needs to get in contact with me um, or wants to see what else I'm doing. So this is a card that I actually designed on Vistaprint. I wanted to be able to do exactly what we're doing right now, which is adding watercolor. So I designed these in Vistaprint now, Vistaprint.com has free cards um, that are certain paper and certain design restrictions. And then if you want to pay a little bit more, which is what I ended up doing, um, you can get them front and back. And this is actually kind of like a satiny sheen. This might work also on something that was matte. Uh, but the paper quality is really nice. So this is after it's dry, which actually doesn't take that long. It's already dry. You could add something else on top of it. You could do a resist. Uh, the card that is over here actually has a salt poured on top of it while the paint was still wet. So that gives that. Now, sometimes the watercolor will kind of rub off. So you might want to lightly spray these with a um, fixative that's say like a, like a matte spray paint or something like that, a clear, clear coat. Um, you could definitely paint a clear coat on, but just, you know, a light, light spray will do it too. Um, these have actually been pretty well received. So that was all for this. It was really short. I mean, real easy. You can easily take some basic business cards to something a little bit more fabulous. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Uh, you can check out what I'm actually doing on these lovely websites. So Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, I actually have two Instagrams, so you can check out the other one for a little bit more artsy stuff. Um, that isn't all just crafts. Nothing in my Etsy shop right now, but I've actually been working on a lot of paintings. So if you follow me on the Crafty Lady Abby uh, Instagram, you will see those. Um, you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Bye guys.